Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi. And his guest, the evil Pop-Tart. Let us recap everything we've uh, gone through. We started this chapter, and we, uh, you know, thought the Crystal Star was on the Champion's Belt, busted up the Minor League very easily, found out the Crystal Star was not on the Champion's Belt, has been getting mysterious messages from this guy X who wants me to get the Crystal Star, and mysterious messages from another guy who's been blackmailing me, and, um... Tells me that if I get this crystal star, if I continue looking for it, I will suffer the same fate as other fighters who have gone missing. Who knows? Who knows? So yeah, there's somebody who wants me to get the crystal star, and somebody who doesn't. And the somebody who does, and the somebody who doesn't, we're probably going to find out at some point, hopefully. And, you know, there's probably going to be a boss battle at the end. But anyway, we are just loved around Glitzville. Look at all these posters. Every poster used to just represent different fighters. And it's like, this is the Glitz Pit. And that was all these magnificent fighters. Now we're the only magnificent source here. Look at that. Screw the rest of the fighters. I'm so better than them. <laughs> Behind this poster is a key. What a strange place to hide a key. <laughs> But once again, we are being watched, and get an email immediately after that key. X is literally sitting there watching me wherever he's watching me, with his mouse right over the send button on what his laptop or whatever in the world is using to send the emails, and as soon as I get the key, immediately hit send. So that leads to believe he's on a wireless connection. <laughs> 802.11n. Well, at this time it would be 802.11b or maybe g. Well, anyway, that really doesn't matter. The wireless protocol really doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the fact that we just got this key to the second floor uh, storage room up here. Nicely, conveniently placed stairs. Oh, use the key, Mario. Set in here. I wonder how many people actually go in here. I mean, we saw the fake cargo down below that had nothing but hammer blocks in here. There's nothing but boxes. It could be in them, and this big block here that I guess is supposed to be a wall. What in the world was those? Are there flies back there? What is behind here? Oh, wow. Crush, and Andy. Crushed fighters. <laughs> I guess that's, that's, a good way to, that's a good way to take care of people. Crush um, them with a huge block. Crush them with a huge block. They've actually been here for a while because they're kind of smelly if there's flies. Oh, wow. Um, There's nothing I can really do to help them. I mean, I would love to give them a mushroom, but... Oh, I don't even have... I don't really have a dry shroom on me, but the game doesn't let me do that. So, yeah. Don't forget about that star piece, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Who was that? That was Jolene. Um, Let's go chase her. Run her down. Wow, she's a sly one. She already disappeared. Either that or she went up here, and if she's any smart like a spy would be, she would already be out of here, and I would have no idea where she is. Damn. Damn, I went the wrong way. That's alright. I think the game at this point is supposed to, you know, give you the feeling that you got caught again. Oh, crap. So, I just kind of got the opposite feeling about it. Get her! <laughs> I really don't know why she disappears like that, do we? No, she she disappears a lot. I'm willing to bet you Jolene is, you know, one of our important characters, whether it be the X or my blackmailer. Anyway, the only thing to do now is to go to the title bout. It's the title match against the Flabadab Rock Hawk. And you always get the same condition for this fight, by the way. You have to use one special move, and that's really convenient, to actually, that you don't get some crappy condition. One special move. Ooh, and zap tap. All right, here's our badge setup for the champion, Rock Hawk, Quake Hammer, Power Plus, Power Plus, Partner, Damage Dodge, Damage Dodge, Partner, and zap tap. <laughs> this should be fun. This should be very fun. Well, let's get to it. Follow me, bub. Did it say Bub in this one? I didn't catch him if he said Bub. Oh wow, this is a special match, so I guess we're going to the other door. I've always gone through the red door. Why would I be going through the blue door now? Huh. 
Maybe he likes the color blue. I don't know. Well, I've always gone through the red door, so maybe a little bit of change. Why are we walking right past the blue door? Oh my god, where's he taking us? Into the other minor league locker room. It's currently abandoned, too. With pokey chairs again. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> that pokey bench with a lot of springs in it. And the terminal that's offline. But the lights are on, so... You know, somebody either had to leave the lights on or be in there recently. The throwdown. Obviously a very popular match. This match had to have gotten Grubba a lot of money. Just think about that. This place has to be packed. E <laughs> yeah, Rock Hawk, of course, is running his big mouth, as you would expect. Yeah, this guy talks a lot, Mario doesn't talk at all. <laughs> That's He's the way it works. Rocked. They oh. now decide to check the door? Come on, guys. I oh guess gosh. we're really patient, and in this case, patience really isn't a virtue. If anything, it's the exact opposite, and impatience is a virtue. So I just sat there out of a forfeited the match without, you know, knowing about it. So somebody wanted you, instead of getting me to this high action match that a lot of people paid for, lock me in a locker room. Wow, a lot of people would be really angry, Grumpa, if you know I forfeited this match. They'd all be screaming for a refund. He would lose a lot of money. <laughs> he would. I honestly don't think it was Grubba that locked me in here, of course. It has to be somebody else. Who would have the motive to lock me in here? And be able to convince the guard at the same time. Somebody with at least a good authority. No kidding. What about this minor league locker room looks different? Oh my god, it's Peach, and it looks like it's falling off the wall. Blow it right off. It's and just like in the other minor league locker room, there's this hidden room with this light that's on and this TV from the 1950s. Um, you know, and there's also a cup of joe here, and honestly what looks like food on the table that I can't even really tell. But, it seems pretty obvious that somebody's been in this room recently. Either that or that's been there from the 1950s and somebody's paying one hell of an electric bill. <laughs> Grova has the money to keep his <laughs> thing entirely afloat, so... Um, so then, anyway, um, this Major League locker room has a male bathroom instead of a female bathroom? And oh, it's no. open. No. Mario, don't. I fear that's the man-eating toilet. Oh my god, no! <laughs> it's the man-eating toilet. Oh no, game over. Oh, he's going in. Wow. So that's what plumbers do. That's what Mario went to plumbing school to do. He learned how to transport via toilet. So next time you hire a plumber to fix your toilet, remember what they do. They literally dive into the toilet. And flush themselves. <laughs> flush themselves to unclog it. Alrighty then. So, yeah. Let's just get right to this match. And we've made it! A little stinky though, we did just come out of the toilet. <laughs> Oversized rooster. <laughs> Let's go put this oversized rooster in its place. <laughs> you're late, you're late, I almost called for a refund. <laughs> the championship bouts. For the most part, and I think a lot of people agree this battle really isn't too difficult. Oh, there's a pre-battle cutscene, I forgot. Oh, it was Rockhawk that locked us up. He's fighting a little dirty, isn't he? He's looking pretty confident right now, too. Send us and the he poison the cake. cake as well. Oh, this guy, this guy might be a behind it all. So you're the jerk. <laughs> he seems to not know what crystal stars are as well. He's definitely a foe, though. Time to all get right. rocked. Anyway, most people consider the rock cock not very difficult, and I, of course, agree with them. Basically, it's just beat him up before you beat him here, before he beats you up, which I guess is the same strategy that any other boss, but let's take a look at his stats. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says, and the entry in the book about Rockhawk. This book is ma magic, I swear. 
So he is actually an overgrown rooster. 40 HP and only a defensive one, so you know, it doesn't take a whole lot to beat him down. And he jumps a lot like Mario, but other than that, he's pretty meh. So with our zap tap on, he is not able to finish that move where he would actually attack me and my partner. Oh, oh crap. Stupid fog. I hate fog. Oh, except when it helps me. No turn! Oh wait, crap, first. First do Mini Egg. Mini Egg? Um, well, Rock Hawk is vulnerable to status ailments. If I wanted to, I could have used um, a clock out at the beginning of the match, and he would just, you know, be clocked out entirely. What's he gonna do? Check this out. Time to rock! That's his big attack. That actually does a lot of damage, I think six. But, you know, of course he's mini, and I dodged it. And he has a few other tricks up his sleeve, which I actually want to showcase, so I'm not going to completely beat him up to a bloody pulp, especially since, you know, I have to use a crystal star power as well. Hopefully he doesn't kill himself first. That would be really dumb. We're going to do this. And get our crystal star power out of the way. With a sweet treat! Good enough. Well, there's that move being showcased. So hopefully Rockhawk here isn't a complete moron and does his special crap, because I really wanted to show him the special crap without me having to re-record it all. Okay, thank you. Got no choice but to play dirty. Okay, this is normally a flurry of one damage attacks, and to be honest, it's pretty difficult to guard, but... Anyway, he's on the ceiling. Normally you're not able to do anything to ceiling enemies. You can attack him with Flurry's uh, one move. Um, it's escaping my mind. Text guy, please. But I'm going to Quake Hammer him right down to end this match. Ah, uh, the good old trusty Quake Hammer. What better way to end the match other than to rock him right back down to Earth? Get him where he belongs in his overinflated ego. Just got done stomping a mud hole in it. Kicked your ass. Yeah, Mario's Yoshi's gonna give him taunt. the silent treatment now. Oh, no Yoshi yeah. How'd that floor taste? <laughs> yeah! We are now the champion. Q Queen music! <laughs> Please don't sing. No, I'm a horrible singer. I wouldn't dare sing an awesome song such as Queen. I'm also not going to get in trouble with copyrights by playing that song. I'm going <laughs> to ask anyone who has that song on their computer right now, play that song, We Are the Champions, by Queen. Alright, so yeah, we get to get the championship room now, or the champion's room. Excellent. And you know, of course, the glitz, glitz pit being its meritocracy, where your position is determined by your performance in the glitz pit, I get the best room of them all because I perform better than every other fighter. And I didn't have to talk any smack about it at all. My partner, on the other hand... How'd that floor taste? Exactly. I will still use the terminal to start battles. Hopefully no one starts the terminal and tries to battle me. Rockhawk had no idea about those crystal stars, but he did do a lot of bad things to me, so... Huh? Oh? There's more behind this mystery than one may expect. We're hearing periods. Are we allowed to hear periods? What does a period sound like? I guess a ghost? <laughs> Doesn't sound like this, though. Holy crud. Uh oh got it. Find the ghost in the champion's room. Well then, there is a ghost in this room. I'm thinking all those rumors Bandy Andy was talking about are actually correct. This bed is awesome. It's a free heal on everything you have, so... Including star power. Including the star power. So yeah, we're about to unravel this mystery. Next up. <laughs>